One of the common comments we get on this channel is that there are just thousands of pieces out there with varying difficulty levels. As a beginner, what should I have played by the first year, the second year, the third year? Is there maybe a system I can follow? This is a really good question. Hi, I'm Jayza. I've been playing the piano for 18 years and in this video, I wanna share with you a rough plan or let's say a menu of pieces for you to work on within your first three years of playing piano. I'm gonna share with you seven pieces to work on across the three years, but of course I recommend you play many, many more than just seven pieces in your three years. My hope is that these seven pieces give you some kind of guidelines or checkpoints for what you should be able to play or at least aspire to be able to play within these first three years. Use this program at your own discretion. I'm going to assume that you're gonna be practicing very diligently every single day. This list is gonna include both classical and also some modern songs, so you have a nice variety. Before we get into the seven pieces, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel to make sure you stay in touch with more of these free piano lessons and tutorials. Okay, let's talk about your very first year of piano playing. After you've worked on those true 101 basics like learning C position and learning simple chords and simple scales. When you're ready to move on to some real pieces, here's one great piece for you to start with. The first piece is the Minuet in G by Petzl. This is a great piece for beginners because the position changes aren't too extreme. You're staying relatively within the middle piano area. There are some parts, for example, where the right hand's playing a scale part and the left hand plays a scale part. So it's just busy enough to keep you on your feet and just to work on your finger movements across the piano. To play this piece well and with legato, there are actually a lot of points in a piece where you, you need to turn. And by turn, I mean things like, for example, one, two, three, and you turn your thumb to play the next note. So this piece is great for that. It doesn't just stay in one position, but it works on your ability to turn and navigate and go into slightly different positions on the keyboard. The second piece I think you should play in your first year of piano is... This piece is the Gymnopedi number no. one by Eric Satie. I really love this one and I think it's great for beginners because it doesn't have too many notes so it's relatively easy to learn. You'll need to use the pedal for this one so it'll also give you some practice with using the pedal. It's very calming, it's very beautiful and I think it's just a really encouraging piece to play. Something that isn't too hard, something you can whip up and it just sounds really, really nice. Of course, in saying this, Learning to play a piece versus mastering a piece are two very different things. So I recommend beginners to, you know, get your hands dirty and start meddling with this piece. But across the years that you play piano, continue to come back to these pieces to work on them and improve on them year after year. The third piano piece that I think you should play in your first year is... This is the Prelude in C by Bach. I think this is a great one for beginners. Aside from its sheer beauty, it also is just this sort of pattern throughout the whole piece, but just with different chords. So not too difficult to learn. You sort of learn that pattern once and you apply that pattern to all the other chords. 
Uh, and speaking of chords, is, that's a very important concept to learn in piano, the idea of chords, groups of notes. So this piece will really, this piece really helped me to C chords a little bit clearer. So I recommend trying this Prelude in C by Bach in your first year. Moving on to the second year of piano playing. So by the end of the second year, hopefully you can play this. This is Furley's by Beethoven. This one is probably one of the more iconic pieces. Even people who don't play piano usually know what this piece is called. I think the world sort of sees this piece as the pianist verification piece. So as a pianist, like you kind of need to have this in your hands, whether you love it or you think it's overplayed, it's good to have this in your hands. Now I recommend this piece for the second year and not the first year is because there are a lot more position changes it's using a wider range of the keyboard. So there were notes going from down here all the way to up here. This piece will teach you a lot about how to play legato and how to use the pedal. Definitely a must have for your piano hands. The second piece I think you should work on in your second year is... This one is also a really well-known one. This is the Canon in D by Pachelbel. It's a really interesting one, this one. It's, it wasn't written for piano originally, it was written for strings. And for some reason over time, it's become almost synonymous with wedding music. So pretty useful to have in your hands if you are ever asked to play for a wedding. There are many different arrangements for the Canon in D. I recommend you do your own research to see which arrangement you want to play, but there are some free ones on MuseScore. You can check them out in the description box below. The Canon in D has a very nice progression that repeats basically throughout the piece. And at about this second year level is when I think you should start to tackle something like this. I think to do this in your very first year of piano playing is a bit hard, but second year, I think this will be a good challenge for you. Let's move on now to the third year of piano playing. I have three pieces to share with you for your third year. The first one is... I have a confession. I don't actually know how to pronounce the name of this piece. I refer to it as Comteen, the first word, but it's by Jan Tiersen and it's from the movie Amelie. I love this piece, not just because it's beautiful, but because there is a very interesting left hand technique that you learn from this. It just gave my left hand lots of control when I learned it first. So I think it's just a great double up. It's a beautiful piece of music and it also is sort of a great exercise for left hand and to later in the piece also for the right hand. <laughs> 
next piece that you should play in your third year is. This is River Flows In You by Yuruma. This has got to be one of the more iconic and viral piano pieces of this century. It's got that four chords that the modern ear really loves, and it's got lots of scaling passages and going up and down the keyboard. It's got that sort of right, I think, complexity, but also simplicity, inspirational quality that makes it very attractive to play. At about a third year standard, I think you would be ready to tackle this wonderful calming and inspirational piece. And our final piece for the third year of piano playing is... This final one is the Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven. This also is another iconic one. This is very peaceful, but it's different to the other two pieces in that it's a lot darker and contains very, very deep emotions. On the surface, it may feel like this piece seems technically easier than the other two because maybe there are less notes, there are not so many position changes, but it's very hard to get the right hand voicing properly. Let me explain. For example, look here. Bum, bum, bum. You gotta play with your weakest finger, the, the pinky, louder than the inner voices. So you can do something like this. As opposed to. Right? If you were to play the piece something like this. very distasteful. So I think for a third year level, this is a great piece to try to get that right hand. Try to get that voicing to be a lot higher than the inner voices with your thumb first, second, and third. There you go, we've come to the end. These are the pieces that I recommend to you as a general guidelines or checkpoints for you to think about in your first three years of piano playing. I think you're gonna have lots of great fun with them. It's really great to start learning these pieces. Will you master them right away? Probably not, but over the next months and the next years, keep playing them, keep growing with them. It's quite an amazing life to, to work and grow with these music. Do you agree with the choice of pieces for your first three years of piano? Let me know in the comments. Also, what other pieces do you recommend people play in the first three years? Let me know in the comments too. I really love reading your suggestions. Catch you in the next video, guys.